Welcome back. Thank you. I love being here. Yeah, it's too long. It's been too long. It's always too long. Yep. Um, celebration of leadership seems like it's still going strong. I mean, you just had a oh really cool celebration uh, what, a couple our months 40, ago now. Our 40th anniversary, 40th anniversary. in October. Yep. Awesome. Really out over at Haney's Corner and mm-hmm. had the tent that wasn't a tent with lights and stuff. I'm telling you what, did that not look amazing? That was pretty cool. Um, uh, True Rental made a suggestion about that, and, and I mean, Daryl did. I thought, oh, I don't know if I get this. Yeah. Once he did that frame and put the lights up, it didn't. It looked like we were in in some magic place, and there yeah. was a theater and uh, amazing. Yeah, I like to I think that should happen more often, like that. I mm-hmm. think. Maybe, I think that anybody could do that and, yeah. and make a beautiful a beautiful party. Yeah, so it's cool and it's a fun party. A lot of people. Oh that, yeah. You know, yeah. movers and shakers and such, and know. and just regular folks, and yeah, students, and it's people I didn't it's like. Typical leadership Evansville. It's interesting. It was yeah. Everybody, you see somebody I'm like, how how did you know about this? You know, it's just like different spheres of life colliding. And we will. I mean, we really believe that within the classes, within the organization, and definitely celebration of leadership does that. Um, but I think it's just servant leader at its best. You yeah. know, how, how, do we, how do we bring people together? How do we make everybody feel welcome? Yeah. You know? And uh, as I know, it was a, a very rare public appearance of Michael Linderman that I saw in there. <laughs> and that is, that's, it's like seeing a unicorn. You know? Yeah, we were so honored when he came through Leadership <laughs> Evansville. He was an absolute blast. Yeah, that's something. A blast. I think his wife kind of really asked him to. Yeah, well... I don't know what kind of <laughs> force she has, but hey, she eventually... Women are very persuasive. They can be. Yeah. It's a gift and a curse, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. You have to use it wisely. Right. Mm-hmm. So for people, we've, we've gained a couple of listeners since the last time you've been here. So maybe um, for those who may not know what Leadership Evansville does, could you maybe touch on that a little oh, bit? Oh, sure, sure. Um, so for the last 40 years... And thousands of people, we bring, uh, and very intentionally bring together diverse people in an inclusive way um, to learn about servant leadership and to help empower them to build teams and community in order to transform the community. And I think um, one thing that's worth noting, the community that you're transforming is what you pick. Mm-hmm. So for some of us, it's the whole community. For some people, it could be global. For some people, it could be um, their T-ball bar team. You know, I, I mean, it can be as small or as big, and that can change. Um, we just hope that people are leading in a way that's considerate and thoughtful of other people. Um, that's kind of um, looking for ways to make other people play well. You know what I mean? For ways to, for me to look at you and say, you're different and I hope you expand this and I want you to lead in that because you're better at it and I'm, I'm better in this yeah. thing. And people just really be an open plus have fun. Right. I mean, I think it's important to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And so it's people have something they want to get accomplished, but they don't, they can't do it by themselves. That's something that you guys offer ability. Yeah. And then people that want to do something, but don't have any idea what they want to do. Can latch onto those things, so yes. it's a meeting of the yes the two there. And then I think there's a whole group of people in community that really want to do stuff. Mm-hmm. They may not want to initiate a new project. They may not want to be in charge of anything. I mean, they're in charge at work or they're doing other things, but right. they are really all about um, finding out what's great to do, and and they like to go do it and do it often and tell people about it, and that is just as valuable. Right. Um, people participating and engaging and sharing information as people that initiate. So I think sometimes um, we get so busy creating things, we forget that once we create it, we need to hopefully have a whole bunch of people enjoying it. And all of that is valuable. And then there's a few crabby people who aren't real happy about anything. And that's kind of their deal. And that's cool. I mean, you know, sometimes I find the crabby people are really good at noticing... um, what needs to be fixed, or yeah. Oh, yeah. they might um, also question something you're getting ready to do because they tend to question things. Mm-hmm. And you know what? They may be right, and you take a new look at it. Yeah. Um, so I think I think it all serves, even even. Yeah, I think a lot of te- every team needs a cynic. Oh know, yeah, just the ground, I do. Ground people, ground people, and I don't. And yeah. I think as long as you're not taking any of that personal and it, right, 
that's where it, yeah, yeah that's and we teach a lot of that because it's hard sometimes if you yeah. love something and you're into it for if you hear somebody sound critical they may actually be just trying to figure out how to critically think how what could be different better improvement right. so it's all of that gets practiced in our retreats and when we do projects we kind of keep reminding ourselves and others because i i fall short a lot too i my my big problem would be sometimes taking things personal that we're not meant <laughs> sure, to be sure. so. well you know you care too much. Sometimes. I, I sometimes I think I do. I th- I really do. <laughs> um, and so today you're here specifically to get people to nominate for the upcoming celebration of yes. leadership. Yes. Okay. Oh so. my gosh! Isn't this like the most wonderful time of the year? Most people that might be Christmas or Hanukkah <laughs> right. or something. For me, it's when celebration of leadership nominations come in. Yeah. Because you see um, all of them, you, oh, you're just. I'm just. I'm going along my day, and yeah. pop. There's a nomination. Good story and, after good story. And I'm looking it. at it, going, oh, "Look at that!" Yeah. Or so and so. I would have never realized that they would sit sure. down and write three nominations. Yeah, take wow. the time to do it. So um, it, it's really an amazing, an amazing thing. Um, you've been nominated, of course. Yeah. And you're a recipient, I believe. I, I, that did happen. So I was going to say last year is probably the best year, and I'm not sure that. We need to have any more because we can go out on a Gosh, good note, know. you know, right? I know. Hard to imagine. I can't imagine any, you know, I think we've covered it. Yep. The only way you're going <laughs> to top you receiving would be if you come up with somebody or another project right. to nominate. That's true. Which yeah. I certainly hope you are. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been uh-huh. thinking. I've been thinking. Good, good. Um, so the deadline for me then is... Okay, December 23rd. December 23rd. Okay. And this is the first year we have kept it on this side of the of yeah. the year. Okay. Um. We are in continuous improvement, and Fifth Third is our our, um, main underwriter, our named underwriter of the whole event. And they have made some wonderful suggestions about, um, are there ways to highlight some of the nominees, Mm. whether they receive or not before, um, the videos of the lifetime people? And if we get them in a little earlier we have more ability to do that kind of thing. And this was Julie Moore's idea, and I think she's exactly right. Yeah. Um, Pretty much, well, you and I, there would be other people who they've already turned in their nominations. Mm -hmm. You and I would probably wait until, what, December 23rd? Oh, sure. Yeah. Because, you know, typical Evansville way of doing things. Last minute. Yeah. So So what we realized is, does it matter if it's last minute on January 15th or last minute on December 23rd? Right. Uh, yeah. Just when's my deadline? Yeah, December twenty. <laughs> That's what I need. Yeah, That's exactly. It. Yay. Yeah, it can be whatever. So okay, the twenty third, and then those can be they're on on the website. Here's a spot to send those in. Yes. Right? So leadershipevansville dot org. Mm-hmm. Um, they're also in the newspaper and mm-hmm. things like that. I mean, if you if you um, do not have a computer or access to the website, um, EVPL the library system is is standing by to help. Okay. So if you go into a library, you can say, where's your computer? I need to do right. a celebration of leadership nomination. And most of the people within those buildings will, will help you. So that's just another thing to think of. Cool. So I was looking at some of these notes here that we were to, supposed to talk about. Um, and this is a 23rd annual. So 1994, which does not seem that far away. And yet it is. Mm-hmm. So I refuse to believe that, though. It was just a couple of years ago. Just a couple of years yeah. ago. So my gosh, yeah. Wow. One of my kids wasn't even born at the time <laughs> that we... I, yeah, none mm-hmm. of my kids were born. Um, you, 150 nominations last year. Yes. And 1,200 people in attendance. Yeah. In fact, I would say that 1,200 is low. It's probably low. Yeah. yeah I was there. It was It was, was more than that because we... Um, it was just huge. I, th- I think we were over 1,300 um, by the time we counted up yeah. everybody and um, all the chairs and all that kind of stuff. Because we, we had everything filled plus people standing. Um, but it is, it is quite an event. But the nominations, mm-hmm. I, I'll tell you, if I had never written one, I think it would feel a little bit intimidating. So if, if we sure. could, I want to take a few yeah, minutes. Please. Um, I've never I've never scored them because I've always been on staff, so I've helped I've helped facilitate it. But I have watched any number of selection committees um, score highly, average written nominations. 
yeah. or even poorly written. Because it has nothing to do with the nominator. No, and right. it doesn't matter how things are. I mean, it's if you are a great writer, by all means, write well. Yeah. Yeah. But what this is really about is the heart of it. So they seem to be and have always been able to look look into what the real nomination is. So if it's an individual, they are looking for what that person's done, how they were collaborative, Mm -hmm. um, how they included people. Um, They're looking for that servant leader heart within there. And these can be people who it's their job to do what they do, but they go way above and beyond. Um, It also can be volunteerism and it can be an individual. It can be a project or it can be an entire organization or institution. And um, so I think there's five questions is all. Yeah. Um, but they're really good questions. <laughs> and and they, they help us think. And even looking, sometimes I think it would be a good idea to go look at the questions and then think about who you want to nominate. Yeah, it might, probably will spark an idea. Of- because if, if it's somebody who is not open to, to, to people or yeah. if they're in some way discriminatory, that's probably not going to fit with this one. Because we're looking for people who are inclusive. Um, if they, we're looking for people with shared vision who are excited about getting people engaged in things or can describe a vision um, and about collaborative process um, and going above and beyond in kind of a, a selfless way to try to make something better for the community or for a particular group of people, or even for one person. Mm -hmm. Periodically, it is something that one person has done for another person that that is so moving. And it's not an age-specific. I mean, it can be kids or things. So we have kids who have received all the way to elderly. um, And then it can be in any number of different topics. So like there's arts, Mm -hmm. education, health and social um, government and public service, environmental, and I may be missing one. Community and neighborhood? Oh, community and neighborhood, yeah, of course. I, I've got them here, so I'm cheating. And so, oh, thank you. That was and, very impressive. Well, to, did I get most Yeah, of you got, yeah. So if you're looking at this and you say, oh my gosh, my person has been good in three different areas, pick one. Mm-hmm. And the selection committee, if they're going to do better in environment and you've got them in community, we're yeah. going to move them for the good. We only move gotcha. people or shift people for the good to help them. Right. Um, the other thing is, is that um, people who have been nominated, it is nice to receive, but it's also nice just to be nominated. I mean, there's a lot of people who have been nominated. They're so glad to be in part of the mix. Yeah. And it's really to say thank you. I mean, it's to say, wow, you have done this. And in the program and on the in the um, the physical program and also in the program or the presentation, we mention every single nominee and nominator. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be acknowledged whether you whether you receive or not. And right. and, it, and honestly, the receiving, although I'm so thrilled you did, and I'm very yeah, honored that right. happened. Over there somewhere. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the biggest part of this though is really getting nominated. Yeah, yeah. that's the spirit. Of you're it. in the you're in the the, the bulletin, whatever the word would be. Yeah, program. Program. There you go. I'm like I don't know. Old school church popped into my mm-hmm. head for some reason. Uh, yeah, you're in the program, and that people take that home. They can look through it. I'm guessing they'll go through it a little closer than they did at the ceremony when they're just seeing all this mass of people go by. Which they might then look yeah. up more about you. Yeah, exactly. I've seen, because we have the presenters are people, most of them are people who have supported the community financially or through a trust or through a... So we have people that are in a position to do great help with the people that are doing the work and everybody's in the same room. So I've seen a presenter or another recipient hear about the work that somebody else is doing Mm -hmm. and they talk to him after and say, wait a minute, I'm going to talk to you because, you know, you're taking the, the handicapped kids um, to this place to fish, but you could come over here and um, do it by our hotels and it's going to be safer. I mean, John Dunn did that for, Hmm. um, I, I, um, I just lost his name, but um, wonderful Jefferson um, Award person. Wow. It'll come to me in a minute. Yeah. So, yeah, so that 
accidental collaboration where oh just, yes yeah you were you, people don't or just that's one of the night i mean it's always somebody i'm reading through i'm like i feel like at some point i feel like i kind of know stuff going on in evansville yeah through, through this yes but then i see all these things in that program and it's like i have no idea what's going on in evansville because there's too much too many things i've never heard of that are popping up in here so it's and always it's, just my oh, it's amazing and so i I think part of it is to really to inspire the people there and to inspire them to say, who else is doing something similar? Or I didn't even know about that. Yeah. And if we got together and I could tell people about yours, you could, right. the sharing of ideas, the mixing, the, the um, just the innovation that can come out of that kind of a mix. Yeah. Instead of feeling like you're by yourself out there right. on an island working at something you see. Yeah, collaborating can be, you know, a good thing. Yes, it can. So, most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> and I think that in all relationships, <laughs> whether that's family <laughs> or otherwise, yeah, we hit moments of like, what am I doing, you know? <laughs> right. Uh, but I think sometimes being surrounded by um, people who've had the Leadership Evansville experience or have been doing it... Um, we can we can cheer them on and say, hey, don't 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 quit over this. I mean, wait, wait, let's see if we can work this out. So, right. yeah, yeah, okay. So, leadershipevansville dot org, or you can mail it in. Even just however they need to get it in, go to the library, whatever it takes. To get yes. there. Do your five questions. Yes. And deadline is the twenty third. The twenty third. And if you get in there and you have questions, yeah. um, call us. You can right. call us on on four two five three eight two eight. And um, if you need to leave a message, I mean, don't worry about that. It may take us a little bit, yeah. but we'll get back to you. We'll get back cool. to you for sure. And then the event is in March, right? Is in Yes, it's March yeah. 15th. And I think that this year it's not up against Winter Jam or whatever that was over at the Ford Center. Right. Which, that was a lot of people in that area <laughs> between the two. Yes. <laughs> people that say that there's nothing going on in Evansville. Just come downtown some night. Yeah. I mean, there's certainly mm -hmm. and 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 all over the place. Yeah, it's a it's a that was one of those interesting to be here uh, week week nights. You're like, wow. Yeah, what am <laughs> I going to do? Here. <laughs> um, one thing that that I I suggest to people is to remain curious, mm -hmm. because sometimes it seems like nothing's going on. Ask, find out, um, research, look for. Um, because there's a lot of things. Um, I think E is for everyone is good about connecting some some things. Mm -hmm. You know, listen to this podcast. There's a lot of Be, people popping up doing that. Are really to, trying to get. Yeah, get I think Gretchen out. Irons is still trying to keep everything oh, yeah. flowing, and um, with Best Day Ever, I think is yep, her. Best yeah. Day Ever. Yeah, um, she was. She won an uh, an award a couple years yeah, ago. A couple years ago. Yeah, yes. That's when I was like, I've got to get one of those. So can't she can't have something that. That I don't have. You're a little competitive there, dude. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You just like to talk about it? No, I like it. I'm very competitive. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's good. Yeah, and I was just looking at some of the examples from, like, the the bike program. Yes, Bike Share. Yeah, the Bike Share. And that that was last year, right? The that was last year. And um, the the work of the Trails Coalition mm -hmm. and the U of E Changemaker yeah. and the... Um, the connectivity model that one of the classes for Leadership Evansville did. I mean, it was so many people, the Parks Department. Right. I mean, so so many folks got in there, and then the corporations that put up the money. Um, I just said corporations, so I'm going to say one more time. Fifth Third, being our title sponsor, has made it so cool. Yeah. Because whenever we have this event, if somebody can't afford the ticket, they get to come anyway. Right. And that money raised helps us help with some of these projects and some of the, the things we do. So we are so grateful, not only for Fifth Third, but many of the people that yeah. help us. So I'm glad you didn't bring Court with you today because I hate that his voice sounds so much better than mine. I mean, Court, he does have that I amazing just radio. Not, not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, I'm a fan of his a yeah, lot. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a good guy. He's but, a great guy, but he does. He's yeah, got I'm, he's got a presence and a voice. Yeah, I know. It's just, well, I he's the chair like of the yeah. of the entire event yeah. this year. So, yeah, he does a good job. Though, and, he does. Or, he does a good job of promoting it, though, I know for sure. Uh, and, yeah, and he doesn't need to talk, though, on, on the podcast to make me look bad. So Noted. <laughs> we'll be sure and bring him every time oh, we can. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I just want to reiterate that it's not just uh, – 
Yeah, that's one thing. That's what that's where I was going with that. The bike thing was it's projects, not two. It's individuals or businesses or projects. projects. So if it's, it, it could be a bunch of different businesses coming together, like you just said, yes. for that for that project. So and so sometimes when there is a major project like that, yeah. the res- the recipients are it's a huge number. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've at times had fifty people on the stage. Um, or like Rob Carroll's kids, I mean, we they brought half that school. Oh, it was yeah. wonderful. And they right. were just and they trucking across. across. Yeah. And it was, you know, when Boom Squad oh. received, they were booming all the way up. Um, I think Fidelsky had one of the little booms under his arm like this. Yes. It was so, it was just so hard. It, oh, was the last year it was when you had the Boom Squad yeah. lead everyone in, right? Yes. I mean, I want that to happen to me. Just I just want to walk down the street and have them playing me in. That would be, that's like oh, the best. Yeah. Boom, the boom is is something that you really cannot understand until you've experienced. Because no. your heart, everything oh, yeah. is with whatever and rhythm like they're playing. Like you said, playing. the little boom. There are all sizes <laughs> of this. Some of them are just little bitty and yeah. all over it. They are awesome. And so, they do such good work with the kids. Yeah, anytime I see that they're somewhere, I'm, I'm very excited. So, um, Yeah, I think that, I mean, I'll, I'll make sure to put the links and everything in the show notes here. But unless... Do you have anything else we missed, do you think? Or? Well, let me think. Um, all right, so you know to nominate by December 23rd. Mm-hmm. Um, you understand that you can go online and do it and send it in. If you've got any trouble, call Leadership Evansville um, or go to the library system. They'll help. Um, one thing I would say, too, is that Whoever or whatever you're nominating doesn't have to be infamous. In fact, a lot of the people that are nominated are very quiet. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knew what was happening. Right. And this may be the first time they really go public. um, so, So a lot of times it's really the unsung. But it also can be somebody that is really well known. I mean, it can go either direction. But everybody's the same. Right. So when you when you when you get there and you look at it, um, everybody the same. And and we have a lot of different um, awards. So when selection goes through, and it's a huge group of people, like sixteen people or so, score this. Um, there's a lot of special awards that are tied to amazing servant leaders before. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's just all kinds of different nuances. So. Um, just just say it and um, and speak from the heart. Tell the heart and how people are impacting others and why you could see how beautiful it was. And um, I think you're going to find that it will do it. One thing I will suggest, though, is that you really need to answer all the questions. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't leave a question out. Gotcha. Every once in a while we have a selector who scores by question. Mm. So if it's a so, 20, 20, 20, 20, you know, and so you, you missed there, 20. Then, yeah. So, no, okay. and if you've got a, if you've got any questions about how to answer that or what does this mean or what are you looking for, mm-hmm. um, we would so rather you call us. If you're running into a deadline problem to give us a call to, this isn't a monetary thing. I mean, it's, we've got some flexibility. Right. Yeah. So um, just make sure that you're talking to us. Oh, and. Once you nominate, I would love for you to give us a call and say, did you receive it? Just double Just check that. Just to double check. Sure. Another thing I've heard nominators um, learn to do is when they're writing out the questions, they might do that on Word or somewhere else mm-hmm. and then lift it over to the sure. thing. So if it goes down or something happens, you don't lose that work. Because right. there's nothing worse than writing out five questions <laughs> And then losing it. Isn't that right? So so just a recommendation or a suggestion, and this comes from past nominators. Mm -hmm. um, Write it out, put it somewhere, save it. Mm -hmm. Then if something happens and something, you know, goofs up on our end and we can't receive things, you've got your questions, you can copy it off, mail it in. We'll find a way to get it. Right. Um, And then always check to make sure that your stuff got in so that we can verify. Yep. Okay. Okay. And if people want to hear your voice more, they can do that, right? Oh, yeah. On Saturday mornings? Yes, Saturday mornings at 8 at at uh, 98.5. Okay. Yeah. Does Darren give you a hard time much? He does. Okay. But I give him a hard time, too. He's in the beard club, so. 
He is in the beer club. He's so, got quite a beard. It's quite, quite impressive. And and Mr. Landers, his father received lifetime. Yes, that was beautiful. That was really cool. That was yeah. really neat. Yeah. Um, and the Raglans received. Of course, we'll always miss Daryl. Mm-hmm. Always miss Daryl Ragland. He's been such a a person for this, and he was always on our selection committee. So mm-hmm. always hard to lose our our favorite loved ones. Yeah. What an impact he's had on yeah. the community and his kids. So. Cool. We're well, looking forward to seeing what kind of nominations are are coming in then. So yeah, come just get just get it in. Yeah. And um, if you run into any problems, please let us know so we can help. Cool. Yeah. And I would expect yours, whatever your nominations are in. Right on the twenty third. On the twenty third. <laughs> Most likely. Yeah. Because I'm like that. I get that. Okay. Well, thanks, Lynn, for coming over and. I'll talk to you again in a couple of months, I'm sure. So, yeah, before the event. Right. Right. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Bye. Good job, everybody. 